We are in Dunkirk, France, where you can witness perhaps the greatest victory of German forces in World War II. You're standing in front of the Beffroy of Dunkirk, which once was the bell tower of the Church of St. Eloi. These two medieval buildings witnessed and survived the Battle of Dunkirk at the end of May 1940. Through their famous Blitzkrieg, the Germans attacked France on May 10, 1940, and as early as May 21, as many as 400,000 French and British soldiers were surrounded at Dunkirk. You can climb the 58-metre high Belfroy Tower for a beautiful view of the area with this special war history. Once you get all the way to the top, you look out over the harbour and the area of a unique war evacuation, Operation Dynamo. Just before 7pm, a young Winston Churchill ordered to start the evacuation of the almost 400,000 Allied soldiers from Dunkirk. 240,000 soldiers were evacuated from the ports, but also on the beaches that you see in the distance north of the port. Improvised floating harbours were made with waste, so that an additional 100,000 soldiers could quickly board the ships from here. With such enormous numbers, it is a wonder that, despite constant Luftwaffe attacks, only 17,000 soldiers were killed. The Germans pushed on, and with the French surrendering on June 24th, Germany achieved in six weeks what they had not achieved in four years during the First World War. But the heroic British evacuation operation caused that what was actually the greatest conquest in the history of Nazi Germany is mainly remembered by historians as the miracle of Dunkirk. For the St. Eloi Church and the Belfoy Tower, this was just one of the many wars they have experienced during their 600 years of existence. Let's just hope for ourselves it was their last. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.